Uh, yeah, okay, so let's just get started. Um, yeah, so welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're gonna be starting a new series of Liquid Questions, and we're gonna be showing you how to actually solve them and actually give you kind of an idea on how to approach on different types of questions in lit code where you might come across and while preparing you for your um, coding interviews. Um, so yeah, so we have the problem here to sum. So this is just a basic introductory problem problem from lit code. It's actually the first problem. And yeah, so description. Given an array of integers with ten indices of two numbers such that they add up to a specific target, you may assume that each input would have exactly one solution, and you may not use the same element twice. Okay, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. So you're given numbers 2, 7, 11, 15, target 9, and you want to return 0 and 1 here because number from index 0 is equal to number from and plus number from index 1 is equal to numbers from index 9, which is 2 plus 7. Cool. Um, yeah, so one way to do this is by using a very naive approach, a brute force approach, where you iterate through the list, and for each element, you iterate the list again such that you find the match. Um, yeah, so how I'll, I'll try to code this up. So I want to get the length. Nums, land of nums, nums. Yep, and then for i in range i and length, um, and then I want to get the range so for j in range j and length if um nums of i plus nums of j is equal to target so if j is equal to i want to initialize length here um hmm. j plus one yes target um then i want to return i j so this is a very naive approach let's try to test this um, hmm. Ah, this should be zero. My bad. Cool, it passed. Um, Cool, okay. Now, it succeeded, but you see, it took 5 seconds to finish this algorithm, which is very slow, because you have to iterate through the first list, and you have to iterate again in the list itself, which means that um, it takes all of n squared time. So how do we actually improve this algorithm? So I just want to comment a bit out. Um, let me just uh, index this. So... We can actually do this problem in on time using a hash map. So since hash maps have like an expected um, lookup complexity of O of a constant time, so we can store each values in the array as the key and the indices of those values as the as the value of the hash map. So I'm just gonna define a, a term here. So complement C is equal to target minus the current, which means that, let's say, your current is 2. And you want to look for C such that C is equal to 9 minus 2, which is 7, which is the complement of the current. So, yeah, it's just a basic algebra, I think. Um, so, yeah, let's just get coding. Um, so, I want to get the length, which is like earlier, so len of nums, and um, I want to initialize a new hash map. So in Python, it's a dictionary. So I want to iterate the numbers array using indices range 0 to length. And here, we didn't have to minus 1 in the length since 
um, this range function is exclusive of the um, lateral argument, which means it's just going to iterate from 0 to length minus 1, which is the, the last element of the array since the array starts at 0. So for i range 0 to length, and we want to get the complement. So we're going to target minus nums of i. Um, yep. And then we want to check if the target, uh, if the um, if the complement is in the hash map, since C is a since C is a key to the hash map, we can just use a in operation, which just sees if C is inside the hash map. So the key is inside this hash map. If C was a value, that wouldn't work, I think. Um, so if it's if it's in the hash map, we want to return an array. So hash map. So we want to get the index index of the C. And we want to return i. Cool. Um, so if it's not in the hash map, we want to add c to the hash map such that, um, no, we want to add the current element in the hash map and the index as the value. So hash map of s of i. No, it's not s. Why do we keep using s? Nums of i is equal to index. So we don't re really need like a error checking statement or um, or a return statement after this for loop because we're given a valid array which would actually have the answer. So we won't be given any edge cases. So let's try to test this and see if it works. Cool, it passed. So let's see if this one works in a shorter amount of time. And there you have it, 44 milliseconds, which is faster than 90. So, I mean, when you're coding this, you might get like a 30% or, I don't know. Yeah, so don't really care much about that, because, um, yeah, this is just based on your Wi-Fi speed. And, I don't know, Litpus has, has this different stuff, where it just, so when I try to submit it again, it's just going to be different. Um, yeah, I think it really depends on your Wi-Fi speed as well. So to a twice time of this, which I ran the same code, but yeah, I don't really care much about this. But yeah, um, since we're using um, more space, we have a memory usage here, which is 5.11%. So yeah, don't worry too much about that. So this algorithm takes O n time and O n space. So yeah. So that's your solution to two sum and I'll see you guys later when I make another video, hopefully, um, yep.